welcome to class, everybody. My name is Alex, the uh, health fitness specialist at the McLean location. Welcome to Total Body Circuit TVC. Happy Thursday to you all. Hope you've been having a great day so far. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we have three circuits. All right, we're going to have a core move, full body move, cardio move. All right, in that order. Three different circuits, each one for seven minutes long, and it's an AMRAP. So you're gonna do as many as you can within seven minutes so you can keep your body moving and so that you can uh, create the most customized flow for yourself throughout the workout, all right? So you uh, would benefit today to have some weights, so if you have some dumbbells or anything like that, that would be great. Um, you don't really have to have weights for every single move, but for some of the full body moves, um, it will help to have them. All right, so go ahead, grab your weights, grab your water, clear your space, and get your towel. All right, because we're going to get ready to get started. All right, so when you guys are grabbing your weights, I'm going to get ready to start my workout on my watch so I can track it. Close your rings, get your activity points for the day, whatever you got to do. All right, so I am starting myself right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up. All right, guys, so come to the end of your mat. Gonna do some walkouts. Walk it back in. All right, do your best to keep your knees, your legs straight. Don't block your legs out, but just keep them mostly straight. You can also bend your knees if you need to. No worries there. Next one, we're gonna bring the legs up and add a torso twist in. Twist, opposite leg. Again with the leg and the twist. We got three, one more. to a straddle position. Twist again. We've got three twists. One, two, and three. All right, gonna come to a sumo squat. Keep those legs wide. Squat down and up. Just got five, two, three, four, and five. Bring those feet in. Got a monkey squat, hands under the toes, squat down, and push the hips back. Pick up your breathing if you need to. I'm gonna come to a back lunge. If you do have weights, you don't need to make them really heavy, just something like 10 pounds of your trick. But of course, whatever you know that you can handle, it's good to go. One more each side. All right, so we're gonna spread the legs just a little bit. Come straight down, roll open. All the way through, make a big circle. There's three, gonna go the other way. One more and three. All right. Arm circles forward. And go ahead and reverse it. Gonna come to butt kicks. And three, two, one, butt kicks. Quickly into jumping jacks. And three, two, one, and relax. All right. First 
move, we have a leg over plank. So you're going to come down on your forearms or in a high plank position. You're going to bring your right leg over your left foot, tap the ground. Same on the opposite side. High plank or low plank, whatever your choice is, it'll work. Next, kettlebell swings. All right. Right here, if you have dumbbells, you can use your dumbbells, turn them this way. If you have a kettlebell, you can use your kettlebell. And three, we have jump retreats, all right? So you're going to hop. One, two, three. Hop. One, two, three. Your alternative is squats for that move if you don't want to jump. Your alternative to the kettlebell swing is just regular hip hinges. Regular hip hinges. And you can add a press at the top if you'd like. And, or a front raise if you like. And uh, yeah, we got everything. So 10 reps of each. Keep it going. All right, seven minutes. As many as you can. Here we go. Starting off with that plank. Up. Let me turn my volume up. Y'all, just go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. I'm going to choose to come to the low plank. One, it's okay if your hips turn, just keep your torso straight. Three, four, five. As you reach over with that leg, six, exhale. Quality over quantity, don't rush through the moves. Just take your time, go as fast as you can go, but while keeping your breath in check. Keeping your form in check as well. All right, so here we go. 10 kettlebell swings, your alternative is hip hinges and a front raise, all right? Here we go, kettlebell swings. I can use two here, so I'm gonna use two. All right, let's go. Swing just to the front of your face. All right. If you haven't really done that move before, I would recommend you start off with the hip hinges. Take your time, work your way up to that uh, swing. All right. Next, we've got the jump retreats. So I'm just going to jump to the end of the floor here. I know I can jump further than this. I'm sure you guys can too. One, two, three, four. Jump for height, not distance. Six, height, up, down. Watch how you come down. Come down into that squat. All right, don't wanna slam on the ground. Squat into your, squat into that landing. Last one, 10. All right. Whew. So with that last move, really try to make sure you land softly and land into that squat. All right, that's the best way to make sure you have good form. Now, I don't want you guys getting hurt. Alternative to that move is squats, all right? So keep that in mind next time you come around. All right, here we go. Back to the top. So it, the goal here is to get your hips to turn just a little bit. Halfway there. Remember, take your time. Just keep moving throughout. Right. Kettlebell 
12 swings. You can see we are at three minutes, just over halfway through. Again, if you have dumbbells, just turn them sideways, long ways. Keep it moving. Your alternative are hip hinges with the front raise. Just swing right up to the face. Use your hips to create the momentum. All right. Jump retreats. Jumping for height, remember, jumping for height, quick. Three. Four, use those arms. Get those knees up. Load. That's kind of fun. Squats is your alternative. Last one. Oh, that burns. That's a good move right there. Back to the top. Got just over 90 seconds. any equipment you want some let me know I might send some to you keep it up guys keep it up almost there swings. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. All right. Here we go. Squeeze your butt as you come up. Hinge over. Push those hips forward. That's what's going to create your momentum. Your arms are essentially dead. Okay, okay. Circuit number one is done. Grab some water if you need it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and explain the next set of what we got coming up. All right. Let me know what your all's favorite move was if you get the chance for that circuit. All right. So, circuit number two egg rolls number one, renegade. Uh, row compound number two quick feet the high knees number three all right so I'll demo the egg roll your alternative to this is crunches all right so crunches as in flat legs halfway up and down halfway up crunch and down that's your alternative otherwise egg rolls bent legs you're going to rock back and forth and roll like an egg. All right, once you 180, that's one. You're gonna flip back over, that's two. 10 total. Number two, we have a renegade row with a push up and a squat. All right, so row, row, push up, squat, press. All right, your alternative. Just a renegade row, or whichever is your weakest of all of those moves, all right? And then number three, we have our cardio move, high knees to quick feet. All right, so you're going to start off with quick feet, come to the side, quick feet, high knees. 
All right. So you're going to, for those high knees, you're going to count to 10. Once you count to 10, that's one. All right, so quick feet. 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Quick feet. High knees. All right, that tempo right there, or whatever you can handle. All right, let's start that next seven minutes. Here we go. Starting off with the egg roll. Go. Remember, your alternative is whoo, crunches, straight lip crunches. Two, and if you can, try to go different directions. Three, each time. Four, five. Now this is actually one of my favorite ab exercises, I promise, six. Because it's so unique and so effective. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We've got a row, row, push up, stand up, squat, and press. All right, here we go. You can only do, do five of these as opposed to 10, all right? So, row, row, push up, and press. There's one. Row, row, push. Pull to your armpit. Keep those elbows nice and tight. As you do that push up, step back. All right, take your time. Four. Five. All right. Whew, high knees or quick feet to high knees. All right. Remember, we're counting to ten for those high knees, and we got ten repetitions. Okay. Whew, here we go. Quick feet. High knees. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick feet. Pump your arms. High knees. Good. High knees. And high knees. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Halfway there. Let's go, let's go. One more. Whew. All right. Just over halfway there. Back to the top. Egg roll. Oh 
man. That's a good one. It definitely burns a lot. All right, keep it up, guys. Keep it up. We are more than halfway there. We're just about done. Here we go. Five reps. Here we go. Step it back. You don't have to jump back if you don't want to. Good job, guys. Come on, we got one minute left. So this whole last minute, we'll probably uh, finish off with the high knees here. All right. So when you're doing this high knee, lean over as your quick feet, straighten up the torso to being more upright for those high knees. All right. We'll just do five. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go quick, quick. Pump those arms. I knees. Land on the forefoot. And notch your heel. One more. All right. Whew. All right, I'll take us to the bridge. Time for one more. Just about. If that. But we'll keep it moving. All right, last circuit. Plank pushbacks to knee touches, crossover knees. Lunge with the drive and lateral shuffles. All right. I'll demo them as we go. Whew, here we go. So keep taking a break if you need it. Otherwise, we're gonna keep it moving, all right? We don't have much time left, so we're gonna double time it. All right, so plank pushback, high plank, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left knee, right knee. There's one, we'll do five. The alternative is to do a low plank with the knee marches. Oh wait, no, Whew, there we go. Last one. I even messed up my own coordination right there. All right, next, what we got? We got the lunge with the knee drive. All right, so you're gonna back lunge, drive your back leg up. All right, just like that. If you want, you can add a press. Five on each leg. Four. Alternatively, regular lunge, or you can add in the knee drive. And finally, you can add in the press if you want. All right. Whew. Oh, Lord, what in the world is going on? Oh, that is the last one. We're good. We're good. Ignore me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last move is lateral shuffle. We've done this before. All right, so lateral. Shuffle, shuffle, touch. Shuffle, shuffle, touch. Whatever space you got, just use what you have. Each side counts as one. Two more. All right. 
back to the top. Whew. Plank with the uh, pushbacks. All right, your alternative is a low plank. Bring your knees to your elbows, opposite leg to opposite elbow. All right, here we go. Left hand, or right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot, knee crossover. Just got five. If you're doing the alternative, you've got 10. Four. Five. All right. Lunge with the knee drive. Again, you can reduce this, break it down. You can just do the back lunge. You can just do the back lunge and the knee drive, or you can do the back lunge and add in the knee drive and the press. Five on each side. All right. Keep that glute nice and tight. The leg that's in the front, Keep that glute nice and tight. Three. That way you can watch your balance. Switch it up. Take your time here as well. And if you like, can notice a discrepancy, that's okay. Four. Again, you should be reducing, over time, you'll reduce the amount of strength between one side and the other, all right? So we're moving. We're moving. I like this, this circuit because we can go through it the most, or the quickest, I should say. But it is two minutes to the hour, so we're going to break it down. Go ahead, stop where you are, all right? We're going to slow it on down, catch a breath. We're going to have to save that last circuit for next week. We'll start off next week with that last circuit, all right? Whew, so good job, guys. Good job. Bring your heart rate down. Just keep moving, keep moving, all right? Take a couple breaths. Come to a startup position. All right. All we're gonna do is bend over, bring the right hand over, make a T. Bring that left hand down to the side so you can still stretch your groin. Fold that right hand down to meet your left hand on your left leg. Roll to the center. Bring that right hand to the right ankle, make a T. Those breaths in, fold that left hand down to meet the right hand on the right ankle. Big breath. Back down the middle. Big breath. Inch those feet in, come to your feet. All right, good job. Bring that right arm across and pull. All right, nice big pull, come on. And switch it up. Relax. Bring that right arm up and over, pull, pull, pull. Let me know what you guys enjoyed. Again, we're gonna start off with that last circuit next week on uh, Thursday for TVC Switch. Make sure you guys hydrate, do your best to get your rest, and stretch, relax, come to the left quad, Yeah, 
I definitely like that one. I enjoyed that one a lot. And switch legs. Squeeze those glutes just to get a little bit more. Use the wall if you need to. Make sure your shoulders are back, torsos nice and high. And relax. So that's our class for today, guys. I definitely hope you enjoyed it with me, along with me. Hope you got some uh, sweat going on. Cool yourself off, relax, and I'll see you guys next week in TBC. Holla.